Hi there, this is uh, State Representative Lori Jenkins with my weekly video update for you. I'm sitting in what's affectionately known as House Hearing Room D uh, here in the uh, legislative buildings and just having finished one of our appropriations subcommittee meetings. We're in the last two weeks of legislative session, which means almost our whole time will be spent discussing the budget how to implement the budget, and then voting bills off of the floor of the House and the Senate. So we're hoping very strongly to be done by the 13th of March, and we've got a lot of work to do before then. I'm really proud to talk to you today about the House budget that was just issued yesterday. And we really spent our energy as much as we could focusing on our schools. And we did that in both of the big areas of our budget. We have a capital budget in Washington State that funds school construction. One of the things we've heard from parents, including myself, who I have a 13-year-old in middle school in Tacoma, is that we don't have enough classrooms for our kids. When we did a survey of school districts all across the state, we found that there were literally hundreds and hundreds of classrooms that hadn't been constructed yet. So we invested very heavily in our capital budget, $700 million in order to build new classrooms everywhere across the state. Now, why is that important? It's important because we've said that we wanna reduce the class sizes for our kids so that our kids can learn better. We can't reduce class sizes unless we have classrooms for those kids. So those things have to go together. We have to have the classrooms and in our operating budget, we have to have enough teachers so that we can shrink our class size and really be educating our kids appropriately. So we've been very excited, I would say, as Democrats to know that our kids are our future and our schools are our future and educating those kids for the future is our responsibility. We as parents always work very hard to make sure that our kids are ready for school, that they get breakfast in the morning, that they're wearing good clothes, that they've gotten a good night's sleep. Now it's our job as legislators to make sure that our schools are ready for our kids, and that's exactly what our budget does. We were very excited a couple of years ago when the Supreme Court agreed with us in the McCleary decision, and they also said that this is our paramount, most important duty. So then the question becomes, if we're gonna be investing all this money in our kids' education system, how are we gonna do that? Well, in my book, one of the best ways to do it is to close tax loopholes that aren't doing anything for anybody here in Washington State. So there's at least four tax loopholes that we're hoping very strongly that we'll be able to close. First, right now if you come and shop in Washington State from another state, a state that doesn't have a sales tax, you don't have to pay any sales tax here. That's not right. Everybody who shops in Washington State should be paying a sales tax. They use the services of this state, those who come and shop here, and we want to close that loophole. Secondly, big oil companies are paying virtually no taxes in this state, yet they're making record profits, and they have huge tax loopholes that they can run their trucks and their boats through. We need to stop letting them run their trucks and boats and all the money they make through those loopholes and make sure that they're paying their fair share. We're also gonna close, hopefully, a tax loophole for prescription drug warehouses. And finally, we're gonna close the tax loophole on bottled water. Now, as somebody who works in public health, I feel really strongly about that because, you know, in Washington State, we have the cleanest water in the nation and we can get it all just from our tap. So when we close that loophole, we'll be able to pay for our kids' education, but we'll still be drinking the best water in the nation. So that's my update for, for today. Uh, please make sure to call my office if you have any questions. Thanks.